Good morning, everybody. How are you? Fine, very good. Today we are discuss about shell. Here, the animal shell, the structure of the animal shell. First question: What is shell? Shell is a structural and functional unit. Shell is a structural and functional unit. Why shell is the structural unit? Because each and every shell has a fixed structure. Why shell is the functional unit? Each and every shell has a fixed function. Hence, shell is the structural and functional unit of life. Then, shell theory. What is shell theory? Who proposed shell theory? Actually, three main scientists proposed this theory. Schleiden, Sean, and Virchow proposed a theory, and this theory is called shell theory. According to shell theory, number one point all living beings are made up of cells. Number two point the cell is the structural and functional unit of life and third point is all living beings arise in pre-existing shell number one point all living beings are made up of cells second point the shell is the a structural and functional unit of life and third point all living beings arise a pre-existing shell it means each and every offspring made up by parent gamete or gigot so this is called the shell theory the next what is the structure of shell what is the structure of shell yeah. a structure of shell so here is the structure of animal shell shell consists of three main parts number one part cell membrane number two cytoplasm and number three nucleus number one shell membrane in this diagram outer covering is called plasma membrane plasma membrane is also called shell membrane or selective membrane or semi permeable membrane its main function for cell shape and a fixed rigidity or a structure so first point shell membrane is finished second point cytoplasm in this diagram this is a nucleus in outer covering is called the nuclear enveloping in between the pro in between the plasma membrane 
and the nuclear envelope, some fluids are found, and these fluids are called cytoplasm. In this cytoplasm, some living organelles such as mitochondria, Golgi body, ribosome, lysosome, endoplasmic reticulum present. So that is the cytoplasm. Then third point, nucleus. Nucleus is a larger and important part of the cell. Its main function for all the metabolic activity control and genetical activity control. It means all metabolic and genetical activity controlled by nucleus. Nucleus have different parts. Nucleus first part nuclear envelope second part nucleo plus and third part nucleolus and fourth chromatin fiber first part nuclear envelope nucleus covered by double thin membranous structure this is the double layer thin membranous structure double layer thin membranous structure that is called nuclear envelope second point nucleoplasm inside of the nucleus some fluids are found and these fluids called nucleoplasm. Third point, nucleolus. This is a smaller circular structure. This is the nucleolus, but this nucleolus not covered by a membranous structure, not covered by a membranous structure. This is the main important point. Nucleolus not covered, a membranous structure not covered. In this site, much amount of protein and RNA. Much amount of protein and RNA. So then, it is the site of synthesis of ribosome. It is the site of synthesis of ribosome. So, nucleolus is the site of synthesis of ribosome. So, this is the main function. Fourth point, fourth point, chromatin fiber. Chromatin fiber. Inside of the nucleolus, elongated thread-like structures form and this structure is called chromatin fiber. This is the main function for the purpose of cell division. It means during the process of cell division, chromatin material duplicate and condenses into chromosome. During the cell division, this chromatin material duplicate and condenses into chromosome. So this is the structure of nucleus. Hello students. This is the whole structure 
of cell. It means cell membrane. First point. Second point cytoplasm. And third point nucleus. Again, we are discussing about difference between plant shell and animal shell. What is the difference between plant shell and animal shell? Plant shell and animal shell. First point. In plant shell, shell wall present. Shell wall present. And this shell wall made up of cellulose. These are the non living characters. But in the animal shell, shell wall absent. In plant shell, shell wall present. But in the animal shell, shell wall absent. Second point. In plant shell, plastid present. But in the animal shell, plastid absent. Plastid three types. Leucoplast, chloroplast and chromoplast. Third point is, in plant shell, large vacuoles present and prominent, but in the animal shell, a smaller vacuole present in lower organism such as protozoans in plant shell large vacuoles present and these vacuoles are prominent but in the animal shell smaller vacuoles are present only in the lower organism such as protozoan it means amoeba etc and fourth point centrosome absent in plant shell but centrosome present in animal shell this is the identified character centrosome absent in plant shell but centrosome present in animal shell. So this is the difference between plant shell and animal shell. So today we are discuss about shell and its basic concept. So the living parts of shell consist of cytoplasm, nucleus and other living bodies, other living bodies are commonly called protoplasm or proto Plast. What is the protoplasm? Protoplasm consists of two words. Number one, proto, and second, plasm. Proto means primitive, and plasm means fluids. In this cell, inside of the nucleus, that is the nucleoplasm. And in between the plasma membrane and nuclear membrane, cytoplasm present plus cytoplasm is equal to proto 
blast. Yes, friends, please attention. Here, inside of the nucleus, nucleoplasm present, and in between the nuclear envelope and plasma membrane, cytoplasm present. Nucleoplasm, nucleoplasm, and cytoplasm commonly called protoplasm. And protoplasm is the basic concept of life. Your topic is cell basing concept. I am discuss about and prove that protoplasm is the basic concept of life. So then today this topic is finished. Then again next video cell cycle. Thank you and bye bye.